cows down. Did you see it before? No. Okay. No. I thought you were hunting it. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Oh. Dude. I didn't want to hit the canoe. I saw that. Yeah, I'm like, no, oh, no. I think he doesn't want to hit the canoe. <laughs> Is that what you were just doing out hunting? Yeah. And then come back and shoot one in camp. Yeah. The better one. I think I finally got my headshot that I was looking for. Oh, good. So, yeah, beauty. Great. <laughs> Grouse and chanterelles for breakfast. You know, if I was sitting around camp, I wouldn't have got it, right? Right. Because yeah. you, you'd be like, what? No, no, not ready. Yeah. So there you go. There it is. It was pretty cool. Just went for a walk this morning. We were morning day seven. Seven is our way out. So we get to way out today, so you can hang in, hang in there. Actually, I think we're gonna do a separate video for the way out. So I'm gonna let you guys guess our way out and then we're gonna put another video so it's a, a spoiler. So it doesn't, it's not a spoiler. So if you actually wanna find out the weight, you have to go to click out the way out specific video so that it doesn't ruin this video. And if you're just starting to watch this one, you're gonna be fine watching it all the way through. You're just gonna get updates as, uh, as we go through. So yeah, put your, put your guess. Be interesting to see, like, you know how much fat we ate? We ate almost a bear's worth of fat like every ounce of fat on the bear, almost. Uh, we ate half of a bear, probably about half a bear, a whole beaver, um, catfish, grouse, duck. I mean, we, we ate the lot. And uh, we got some eating to go on today. I got apples uh, we've been eating too. So yeah, I got that grouse just uh, by the canoe here. Uh, Zach actually filmed the whole thing on his camera, so you can go over and check his video out and see the, the whole hunting sequence from uh third person i guess perspective and you can see mine from my uh gopro helmet cam all right uh let's get a fire on because we got to reheat our food zach's off collecting some dry sticks we can get this bird cooked up this is a rough grouse it's a beautiful bird to hunt and eat it's uh it's got some interesting colors they're really really difficult to spot especially in the woods so the trick is really to go out on the trails and walk to see if they'll pop out for a little bit of sunshine, especially on this day. It rained like crazy last night. I thought I was gonna die a few times. It's actually a couple of trees that fell near the tent, um, but not big trees, thankfully. You can see, look at the plumage on it. They, when they're in the mating season, they'll fan right up like that, and then they'll display for the females strutting around, and they'll leave them flap their wings and make a sound. Just like that, and we've actually heard some in the fall because they defend their territories all year long. So yeah, we got buckets of rain last night. Buckets and buckets and buckets of rain. It was a pretty crazy evening. Look at that bird. Isn't that beautiful? And you guys might be upset that I shot such a beautiful bird. But such is the cycle of life. We don't eat the ugly animals just because they're ugly. And we don't eat the cute animals because they're cute. We eat the ones that are available to us because this is the Wilderness Living Challenge and we're eating everything we can find. As long as it's in season, as long as it's not endangered, and all that good stuff, we eat it. So we're gonna clean this guy up. Zach's got another bird that we'll add to the meal. Thankfully today cleared up. It looks like it's clearing up. It's gonna be partly cloudy. The wind's dying down a little bit, which make it possible for us to go fishing. I wanna show you the canoe here to get a good sense of just how much it rained. Obviously we didn't put water in the canoe here. There's, there's a good couple inches of water in there. That's all rain from last night. Isn't that intense? So as I was saying, this is probably the craziest rainstorm, lightning pelting rain all night long worst i've ever had camping worst absolute worst so but uh we, we made it it was fine we gotta get a fire going here now enough dilly down i gotta get some food in me let's get our spoils cleaned all that stuff i think we're gonna go pike fishing zach says he wants to go pike fishing so we'll fight the wind a little bit since it's our last day anyway so our fire completely went out with that rain last night let's check to see what we got it actually looks like it's mostly cooked, but needs to be stirred, so that's good. 
And this is our leftover, so it's ready to eat, but also pretty gross. On this challenge, we've been using a water filtration system to save on having to make excessive amounts of fire. So I'm using the platypus. It works by uh, gravity. So it, gravity pulls it down through a filter and it's ready to drink. Very careful, slow build, and then boom. <laughs> Hey guys, so on the menu we actually have some fresh meat. We have a gross from a few, well it's not fresh, but it's fresh-ish. Not cooked yet anyway, not recooked. Uh, gross, uh, Zach collected and identified some chanterelles because I know nothing about mushrooms, that's my weakness and I'm working on it. And we have some leftover bear fat and cracklings, so obviously that is going to go into that with the mushrooms. And we have a delicious catfish that hasn't been cooked yet either. So if you have no idea how we got a grouse already, chanterelles and a catfish, it's because this is the first episode in the series you're watching. Go back on the playlist, figure it out. This is a whole series. You're gonna learn a ton about living off wild foods, wilderness living, survival. No, 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 thriving in the wild. This is about keeping our weight up. We've weighed in at the beginning and they're gonna weigh out at the end. And the goal is to gain or maintain our body weight. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But there's a lot of moving parts and you have to know a lot of things about your diet and what it takes to keep a human being alive and rocking day in day out and it's a lot different than what you think it's not a grocery store out here it's got rain coming in again we got some rain coming in again it's kind of typical for the fall here Zach's uh, hacking and slacking and butchering and cooking and all that stuff so I'm on fire duty I'm gonna clean up the pans I'm gonna get them all ready uh, he's working on the catfish right now and then uh, yeah get some fresh fresh grease out of the pot here I'll show you the pot check this out all right so we're gonna use some fresh Freshy, freshy stuff. I don't know, maybe 10 scoops of this, something like that. We want to get a good base. The rest will turn into uh, cracklings, so we can eat the cracklings too. But we want to not burn the grouse, and we want to add calories to lean meat. The catfish isn't super lean, but it is... Uh, you can obviously richen everything up, and the idea is to eat just tons and tons and tons of fat, as we learn. A whole bear's worth of fat, in fact. So if you're wondering about this stew, this is a, not quite a forever stew, this is a yesterday stew. We actually got into a new leg of our bear and stewed it up before bed so that it would be somewhat ready to go. It's not quite there. With all that rain last night, it kind of doused the fire. But this is something we've been eating every single day. We just heat and reheat every morning we're good to go and we haven't got sick or anything like that so this is the the cast iron is the way to go we've just traveled with us we've had it in the car we've pulled over and had bites of it i've uh, had snacks in my lap when we've gone from location to location all right now we 
you can just get the catfish all fit in there. Oh, nice light. Alright, that's the work now. We got fish on the bottom, catfish on the bottom, we got grouse on the top, we got the centrails mixed in there now. Looking pretty good. That looks like a very hearty breakfast. That doesn't fill us up. You can always move those column A, which is uh, leftover soup, rescue soup. This is a culmination of everything. We got a merganza in there. We got a bear, we got bear fat. We got drippings, we got bones, we got everything that's left over. And if that doesn't tickle your fancy, you can have yesterday's meal prepared, which is just on the chewy side at the moment. That's, uh, I just put some fresh adobo spice on seasoning salt. And you got a bear, bear bone in there, so that's going to broth down. The bone marrow in there, chunks of bear meat. This needs a little bit more time to tenderize, but you could eat it. It's going to be chewy. And then there's our cracklings from the product of today's breakfast, which is to the left. There's a the adobo spice mix, goes on everything. And we'll sprinkle some on the top. And we are set to go. Not too many best ones left. That one looks all right. That one looks all right, but also not all right. That catfish takes longer to cook than I would expect. Yeah. Isn't it? It's like, it's not thick. there yet. Yeah. Oh. So this has been a daily thing. Peeling and eating apples. I don't know if you guys find this exciting or not, but I'm going to show you what I'm eating because if you're wondering how to survive out in nature, you better have some kind of system set up like this where you can have access to the foods that your body needs. And I've learned that having apples or having sugars is a good thing to, in order to keep your body weight up and, and your brain functioning. You can function pretty good in ketosis but I find that better function better with sugar so just adding a little bit every once in a while cutting off the good parts and throwing the bad parts away all right let's see how this is looking oh beautiful it's nice and brown and all that good stuff so it's time to take it off and eat oh sizzling oh no I can't see any because so much steam and there you oh go. yeah! What do you think? Looks good. That looks amazing. Look oh, your coffee showing. That's just cheat. <laughs> not actually cheating, cheating. Zach's been upfront about eating eating coffee. Yeah. In his water. Yeah, I eat my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. No. Anyway, yeah, there we go. Looks good. Look Cracklings, fat. Look at that. Oh, see oh, that man. goldeny catfish right there. Dude, that's the so chant. Well, we might have done the chanterelles a minute too long. That was the chanterelle. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Epic fail. Yeah. Oh, we can't eat it. It's spoiled. No, no, no good. Let's dig in here. What do you want? I want a piece of catfish. Let's get a piece of catfish with the bones here. Let me soak up the fat. Soak up the fat. There we go. All right, so mouthful of catfish and fat. Oh, yeah. That's like, that's got to be about 30 calories a spoonful, at least minimum. I think I got some fat crack. No, we took the crackling out. What is that? Just crackled fish. Drippy mess. Mmm. <sighs> this is gonna be rich. This would be like eating straight up bacon and a little bit of protein for breakfast. We gotta keep on top of our calories. As always, our supplies are still okay, but dwindling. So as per the challenge, this is li windless living. We're not trying to lose any weight and we're not just trying to sleep in a tent and conserve our calories. We're actually trying to go out and live as people did back when they used to live on wild food. So everything's that good? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Oh man, this is epic. The bear fat's making the difference this year. Um, if you got fat, you're golden pretty much. Mm -hmm. I don't think you could starve with, if, if you have fat, you can cook everything in it. And that's what we've been doing. Um, if you're just tuning in now, go back to start. 
check the playlist go over to Zach's channel uh, he's got a different take on everything but you can subscribe to that I don't care subscribe to Zach he cares the, we might have one more video in us before we do the way out so if I said something at the beginning you're gonna have to hold off but put your guesses how do you think we're doing so far I feel good Zach feels good yeah the goal is to gain or maintain body weight and uh, living off just wild foods we're on day seven we're even talking about a day eight now yeah so they're just having so much fun why stop it, exactly there might be there might be another episode or two it's it, we'll see we'll see I don't know so any promises I make now don't hold me to them all right guys out see you later we gotta dig in I just can't get a piece now they're so falling apart it's like that's like a big that's Mmm. Mmm.